And we're here today gathered in reflection. A legacy honored, a life of public service recognized. Secretary was a leader. He had a vision for the agency to serve the people of Oregon with all of our hearts, knowledge, skills, and abilities to ensure transparency, accountability, and integrity in our government. Secretary of State Dennis Richardson is remembered as a leader with integrity. So he was uh, a man of great civility in an era where we lack that. Um, quiet, tenacious, effective. Um, he got things done, and he did it in a, in a really, really positive way. Before being elected Secretary of State in 2016, Richardson served six terms in the state legislature. So Among those who paid tribute Wednesday were Congressman Greg Walden and Governor Kate Brown. Regardless of what side of the aisle his colleagues sat on, Dennis's kind heart guided him and his work. A Republican, Democratic state leaders and his GOP colleagues say he was nonpartisan. He was an Oregonian first, and I will really miss him. He was a fighter. We often called him the Energizer Benny. Through his battle with cancer and in the state house, fighting for children, democracy, and fairness in the electoral process. Oregon is a better place thanks to his service to our people and his love for our home. We mourn today the loss of a wonderful human being, a true Oregonian. Dennis Richardson is remembered as a man who loved his family, the state of Oregon, and the people he served. Godspeed, Secretary Richardson. Know that your legacy will live on. Today's service was historic and rare. The Oregon State Library tells me the last time there was a state funeral was for former Governor Tom McCall in 1983. We are getting some messages into the newsroom about the service for former Governor Vic Atia. From what I found in my research, that wasn't a state funeral. That was a public memorial. Dennis Richardson lied in state today under the rotunda and his service followed a traditional protocol.